Spark testing of steels is not an exact science. It is a method that can be used in a simple workshop to compare known samples of steel to new steels. Using a belt grinder or the stone on a bench grinder, you can get an idea of the carbon content and alloy contents of steels. The length and color of the spark, as well as the sparkles or feathers that appear at the end of the spark, differ from steel to steel. Wrought iron. Wrought iron has no carbon. Iron and impurities give a simple long red colored spark with little or no sparkles at the end of the spark. Mild steel. Mild steel is low carbon, about 0.2%. Slightly bushier, more yellow sparks with a few sparkles at the end. 1055. This is a medium carbon, simple steel with no alloying agents, around 0.55% carbon. Shorter, bushier sparks with lots of sparkles at the end. EN9 This is a medium carbon, simple steel of about 0.4% carbon. Not quite as bushy as 1055, but very similar sparks. 1095 High carbon, simple steel of about 0.95%. Bushy sparks, very yellow in color. Silver steel, high carbon of about 1.2% with alloys and 0.7% chrome. Very bushy sparks with lots of sparkles at the end of the sparks interspersed with a few red sparks. 5160, this is spring steel with around 0.6% carbon, manganese and a small amount of chrome, about 1%. Bushy yellow sparks with a small amount of red sparks. 52100. This is bearing steel with around 1% carbon and 1.4% chrome. More red sparks in amongst the yellow. W2. Hoof rasp with around 0.7% carbon. Yellow bushy sparks ending with lots of sparkles. Cast iron. This is very high in carbon with very short reddish colored sparks. Titanium. Spectacular white sparks. Damascus steel. 0.7% carbon average. Medium carbon and high carbon laminate with a small amount of nickel. Long yellow and red sparks with sparkles on the ends. Meteorite. Oldest item known to man, around 4.5 billion years old. Iron and nickel. Short sparks with no sparkles.